Irani and Arshad Warsi present a befitting satire on the Indian judiciary. Finally, we get a courtroom peek that won't make lawyers, real ones, look away in despair. For all those who are expecting a courtroom drama like that in Damini, where red-eyed Sunny Deol wouldn't stop asking for that exclusive Tariq, Jolly LLB might be a tad disappointing. Of course, there's always a next Tariq date that the judge Saurabh Shukla diligently jots down. But heck, that happens in real courtroom too. What's absent is the sheer nautanki and over-the-top dramatization that have been loyal companions of any Indian courtroom drama till now. So now getting a Tariq isn't the end of the world. There's no Gita for the proverbial Kasam, that's the swear, and the witness box is just a square meter of raised wooden platform minus railings. Get that. With all these warnings in place, here's the plot. Jagdish Tyagi, aka Jolly, played by Arshad Warsi, is an advocate from Meerat who lands in New Delhi and spells appeal as Apple, that's A-P-P-L-E, in the public interest litigation, that's P-I-L, around which the story of Jolly LLB spins. The P-I-L demands further investigation into a case concerning advocate Raj Pals, played by Burma Nirani, big shot client, who has been accused of killing six pavement dwellers in a hit and run case. The case itself is an interesting one, with Burman playing the devil's advocate and pulling every possible string to botch up the investigation process. Rings a bell, doesn't it? Warsi on the other side of the courtroom keeps making things difficult for the senior counsel. We smiled. Moving on, we have an excellent judge who burps, farts, grumbles about tea gone cold and knows how to keep lawyers like Rajpal in check. And at times you are in awe at how this rotten judge sweet talks the intimidating lawyer into submission. Smart fella, we say. Subhash Kapoor has made a sincere effort to present a real courtroom to viewers, one with a flickering tube light and a whirring fan that Rajpal thinks should be replaced with an air conditioner. And then there's the outside of the courtroom where the chamber of a junior lawyer comprises a rickety table, stool and a stack of files under the open sky. And yes, an alternate profession is a must as backup for those strugglers to stand outside courtrooms to rope in clients just like the Chaiwala entices prospective customers on the railway platforms. Now that's not very far from the harsh truth. Into this hard-hitting satire and an interesting court case comes Sandhya aka Sandhu played by Amrita Rao who is Jolly's girlfriend and her job is to pop up for a song and dance sequence that makes us impatiently twiddle our thumbs while waiting for the running around the trees to get over and get on with the case. You see the legal story does get you hooked but Sandhu is pretty persistent at times. Remember to treat those times as lubrics. And then there are loopholes. Thankfully, they're not the size of a black hole. Here's one. The intelligent and foxy Rajpal does a shoddy job at fixing his manipulations. Why? Isn't he experienced enough by now to know how crucial such things are? Not very convincing, Mr. Kapoor. Then there's the whole fuss surrounding the advance notice that's required before presenting a witness. Frankly, it isn't that big a deal, with the judge's permission, of course, as it's shown out to be. But we let the pass for the want of a little drama in this courtroom. The individual performances, Arshad Warsi's acting skills are commendable. And finally, it looks like B-Town Circuit can manage serious emotions as well as comic ones. Baman Irani plays the role of an intimidating lawyer quite convincingly. And no, his role isn't based on advocate Ram Jait Malani's personality as suggested by rumour. Amrita Rao is bearable. And we love Saurabh Shukla. So here's a movie we recommend you watch just to see how real-life courtrooms are catching up with the real-life ones. And trust us, you won't be disappointed. Our rating for the movie is 3 stars out of 5.